open to that tumbleweed is not what I thought it was. It's way, way, way better. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. When I started this challenge, I came blind into OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and the world of OpenSUSE in general. I knew it was a distribution backed up by a, a company. So I had some type of like expectation, but I never ever felt that this distribution was so accessible. I want to show you how accessible it is and what type of tool they were able to create to make the experience really seamless for every type of user. As you know, I'm using OpenSUSE Tumbleweed for more than a week now. I'm in the one month challenge. I totally customized it and because I'm working on it all the time, it's up to date, it's everything changed. So what I've done for you to, to have like the real immersion of when you just installed it, I created a small VM and like that, I'm going to give you the approach you will have when you first arrive inside the actual operating system and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you some some stuff which are actually pretty interesting so let's go so this is the vm i'm gonna enter it so sorry for the low resolution so when you arrive on your desktop environment this is how it look like out of the box so obviously nothing crazy you have a nice welcome screen uh you know it's 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 basic but there is a tool which is part of the OpenSUSE like toolbox, we will call it this way, which is awesome. So let me introduce you to this tool. It's called Discover. So you remember when I was doing the Linux Mint challenge, I was mentioning the software manager they have implemented, which I thought was really, really nice. Well, guess what? Those guys, they have the same type of tool, but the difference is like the packages, they are up to date. And this is one of the main criteria who kind of pushed us towards this distribution is because most of the packagings are up to date. And even if you have the opportunity to choose between the source of install, so for example, like for GIMP here, you can choose between FlatHub or OpenSUSE. Look, the package are the same. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty neat. So all the issues I encountered during my Linux Mix challenge, boom, they are just blown away. And the really good aspect out of it, it's that also gives the opportunity for the newcomer, like the newbies, the beginner, to have access to everything and the latest version of it. Let me tell you, I didn't even know it existed before I installed it. And I was pretty surprised by it. So that's, that's the first one. The second one is something called Yast. So I don't know if I pronounce it well, but I, I need to show you this one. So you go there, type Yast. Okay, and it's an administrator settings. Oh, you need your password. And this is how it looks like. And this aspect is really good too, because this one is going to give you the opportunity to manage your repository, to manage your update, to manage everything related to your hardware, to go really deep into like the management without ever opening the terminal. And this is a great news because now, when you look at this distribution, well, it's not for the advanced user anymore. I do believe that as a beginner, you could jump into OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I wouldn't recommend it for a pretty brand new beginner because uh, I'm going to explain that in another video. But let's say you are on Mint. You are kind of like having the issue I had before related to the fact that the package was they were not up to date and you want to go to the next step without going too crazy and, and jumping, for example, toward Arch, well, I believe this is a perfect distribution for you. Because on one hand, you have still your big like uh, software manager, which is called Discover there. And on the other hand, you have your system administration in one like big application here. But this is just awesome. Like, le let's be clear. You can manage all of that from this little application. And I'm telling you, it's, it's just awesome. Now we are talking about update. I've been running the machine for more than a week now. I've been installing everything I need for my daily usage. 
are not having any issue, not towards the packages and not towards the update. The system has been rock solid. As you can see, I have some updates. I have a little notification at the bottom and I want you to do it uh, the way like a normal user without using the terminal would do it. So I'm, I'm going to try to do that with you. Okay, so you have all those updates, 31 updates. You can go through them. It's an okay update, nothing crazy. You have sudo, uh, corutil, curls, a uh, new version of Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so I, I'm just going to press update here, install update, and see how everything goes. Well, I'm pretty confident everything is going to go well, guys. And voila! <laughs> Simple as that. I, think I, I don't even know what to say. This is, this to me, is just crazy good. Okay, so now you got uh, the notification. We can clean it. Everything is fine. Now let's go back on my machine. I want to show you something else. Now we are out of the VM and we are back on my actual OpenSUSE distro. I'm going to show you how it looks like. It is pretty neat if you ask me. There is another tool I want to talk about. This tool is called Open Build Service, aka OBS. So it's not OBS Studio, it's open build service and this is a service i discovered when i try to compile my first custom kernel i really hard try to find a way to get my hand on a kernel which was more like gaming oriented to reduce the latency on my pc and you will see like in the next video we're gonna go deeper into that right now i just want to talk about this piece of art so if you read the wiki the open build service is an open and complete distribution development platform designed to encourage developers to compile packages for multiple Linux distributions, including all the OpenSUSE distro, Red Hat, Mandriva, Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, and Arch. W what is this? So to resume exactly what it is, it's kind of like, of like if GitHub had a baby with chaotic or. For the guy who knows, if you don't know, you can create your own repertory there. You can put all your packages there, all the source of what you want to compile, and then open build service will build it and give you a full repo for you and people you want to share it with. This thing is awesome because if you are an actual like programmer or coder, I don't, I don't know really the right term, you would go there, upload your file and make your work available to everyone. The cherries on the cake is like you don't have to compile it. They are compiling it for you. So from a user perspective like me, I just have to find the right repository in this platform and boom, I'm good to go. I just look at the source of the file and I can download whatever I want. Like the experience is seamless. So this is a place. And le let me show you an example. If I go up there and I type Liquorix kernel, Boom! <laughs> I have all as a user who actually like started some type of work around the Liquorix kernel. They have their own repo and you can choose the one which is going to work for you. I'm going to go with the first one, for example. And if I go there, boom, I have access to all the source file. And if I want to download it, I just go on download package. And here I have something even crazier i can download the package directly if i really want to do it or i can do even better i can add the repo just awesome so you had that you update but you, you actually you have nothing to do you you copy and pass those lines and uh, you will have your kernel liquorix installed on your machine no compile nothing ready to go this is awesome. Now, before I mentioned the chaotic or from Arch, and then I was trying to find some type of alternative for that. And I find something which is like not as good, obviously, as the or, because for me, the or is one of the best ever. But uh, look what I found. I found something called Pac-Man. And Pac-Man is, I believe, the most like popular third party repository for OpenSUSE. And I tried it for installing some of the codec and this repository is just awesome i had no issue i just added it and i had access to a lot 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 of extra packages 
which are not really like available in the enterprise type of approach from OpenSUSE for, for many reasons. I, I don't want to go there. But the good thing is like, you want the codec? Boom, you go on PacMath. You are good to go. So what does it mean? Well, it's, it's pretty clear what it means for me. Those tools to me, they are what make OpenSUSE Tumbleweed such a particular and accessible distro. Because you are propulsed in a distro which is totally up to date which is rolling the edge a, li a little bit behind compared to Arch, but not that far behind. At the moment where I'm recording this video, the main kernel on Arch, for example, it's 6.5.3. On OpenSUSE at Tumbleweed, we are on 6.5.2. So you will look online, I think it's like four days or five days difference between like the release of both of them. So you are not really that far behind. But on the other hand, you have this crazy accessibility because of all those management tools, which make the distro, in my opinion, ready for a, I would say, beginner and add like beginner to advanced type of user, because it's 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 just it's just awesome. I think like for transitioning from you know like a place where you are like really beginning linux and a place where you you just want to do everything at the command line you want to you want to get like really deeper into it this distro is awesome however because i had the opportunity to reach the limit of this one too uh, compared to the other like main base distro there is there is a catch and the catch we're going to talk about it in the next video so guys if you like the content of this video don't forget to subscribe, like, let a comment, please, under. I will really appreciate that. If you want to support me for all this video I'm providing on a daily basis, I really encourage you to um, subscribe to my Patreon, become a member on my YouTube channel. Please do, all right? I really count on you. Uh, this is really important for me to continue to do this uh, opportunity here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. And I know I kind of like uh, amp it up, but you will see the limit in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bisous, bisous.